This is Ozzy Griffin, oh, it's like my 10th, 11th take now. Doing a, uh, doing a video about Fringe Elements and why I unsubscribe to his channel. Uh, well, unsubscribe from his channel. I, I think Fringe is a very smart guy, I think, and I'll send him a copy of this, well, I say a copy. I'll send him uh, a link to this video. Fringe basically is an anarcho-capitalist. That means someone who believes let the chips fall where they may, and if you know how to do well in this system, then all praise goes to you. A strict uh, meritocracy with no uh, external system that people can game or manipulate. I understand where he's coming from. He's also, I think the term he uses is race realist, which is where he's got data about racial characteristics which I do not agree with uh, which he believes indicates they should be separate or that some people are more worthy to hold some uh, positions in a society than others I think it was Lao Tzu who said that the greatest gift anyone can offer anyone else is a fully formed version of themselves so I ask you this, what would, what drastic or even menial or trivial societal changes would need to go ahead in order to uh, give somebody the most opportunities humanly possible to become a fully formed version of themselves? And even if you think that's philosophical nonsensical stuff, I ask you this. If the enlightened self-interest Herbert talked about in June is correct, and you could have a bunch of more or less penniless peasants uh, pick up arms and defend you at the drop of a hat because they just they think you're awesome, would not those peasants uh, be more uh, prone to defend, uh, better armed to defend you if they are more fully formed versions of themselves? Would that society not have less drawbacks? and less people making less mistakes. That penniless bum might be an inconvenience to you, and he may scare the crap out of you when you realize how close you've probably been to becoming him at one or two stages. I know the feeling. The truth is, we don't know where we're gonna to be tomorrow. And when a child sees someone in distress who tells them it's their own fault, don't pity them, berate them. Maybe it'll get them to do, make a better choice next time they're offered their options. Maybe we should say to that child, what do you think would be the best way to help that guy out and give him a shot to make himself feel better? Anyway. This has just been a few thoughts on fringe elements and why I unsubscribe to him. Uh, if you want more information on the guy, check out his channel. Uh, I'm not saying to subscribe, I'm not saying to block him, I'm just saying make your own decision and be the fully formed version of yourself. I'm Lizzie Griffin.